about the car. Hey, sister, how you doing, sis? How many women Come on out. Like See, this is your brother right here. Now, what it's tribe are you from? What, what's your nationality? You're Mexico, Mexican? Now, look right here. What's that say? It's a car, right? Guess what? You're from the mighty tribe of Issachar in the Bible, sis. You are not a B-word. Hey, don't go nowhere. Okay. Now, watch this, sis. I'm going to show you something that you never heard in your life. Now, tell me this. What have you heard in churches when it comes to Jesus Christ? That God loves you the way you are, right? Now, did you know, go back to go back to uh, Colossians 2. Did you know the way that we were taught in churches was all wrong? Did you know that? Now, watch this. There's only one God. You believe that, right? Okay, watch this. I'm going to show you something. Read. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Say, so, sis, the Bible is warning the people of Israel to beware unless they spoil you with philosophy and vain deceit, meaning deceit you away from where you're supposed to learn as a sister of Israel. You get what I'm saying? Now watch this. Read it again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of man. I'm going to touch a tradition that we're in today. Today is what? Consider what? Yesterday was Good Friday. Tomorrow is consider what? Sunday, which is what? Easter. Easter. Now, tell me this. Do rabbits lay eggs? Why the hell are people celebrating a holiday, a hell day that rabbit legs eggs if it's not true? You see what I'm saying? But this is what we were taught. We were conditioned to think like this. Now watch this. This is why the Bible said this. Read it again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So beware of those churches. Beware of those men that's going to spoil you to thinking that you're not an Israelite. To thinking that you can do what, come as free will, do whatever you want to do. Beware of that. Why are you supposed to beware of that, sis? Satan is a murderer and a liar. Do you know how to get the kingdom? What did they tell you in the churches on how to get the kingdom? Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Now, now, why don't you believe in the Bible? Just like Sakari pimps. Sakari is up there. Sakari is a black people Israelite. Okay. Now, you said there's different type of Bibles, right? Now, I'm going to show you something. If I show you, and if I show yourself in this Bible, would you consider it more to believe in too? If I show that the black and Hispanics are in this Bible, that the black and Hispanics wrote this Bible, that the black and Hispanics is all, this is our history, which, did you, did anyone ever tell you that? No one told you that. This is why we're out here, sis. We're, we're out here to show you that, according to the Bible, you're an Israelite. They never taught you that you're an Israelite in the Bible, in the churches. But watch this. I'm going to show you. This is why you don't know who you are. Come over here. This is why you don't know who you are. Point to the picture that you see in the churches. That's Jesus Christ. Oh, she pointed to the movie one, too. This is what they depict as Jesus Christ in your church, right? I'm going to show you why you're confused, why you don't believe in the Bible. Because this is what ta they taught you. And this is all confusion. It's all lies. Now I'm going to show you that it's a lie. Revelations, read. Just stay with me, all right, sis? What's your name? Maria? And what's your name, brother? Look at him. Huh? Alexander, y'all stay with me right now because this is going to be the most important thing you ever learned in your whole entire life. Read. Revelation chapter 1. one verse 1. Go. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is a revealing. Revelation we reveal. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To what? To show unto his servants. So this is what God gave John to show to you. Because I'm going to show you what John showed us is completely opposite of what Esau, the damn devil, the white man showed you. Read. Unto which God showed unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Read. Verse 2. 
Who be a record? He what? Who be a record? So when you got a record of something, you're writing down what you saw, right? Now we're going to get to the description. Now we're going to see what John saw as Jesus Christ. Read. You want verse 14? Yes. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Stop. Now, it says hair, hairs in his, uh, the, his head and his hairs were white like wool. What people on this earth have woolly hair? Texture woolly hair. Like an afro, wool. Black people. Now, now tell me this. Even our Hispanic brothers and sisters, when you go deep into Mexico, their hair is very coarsey, right? They're very dark, right? Look it. Your brother, is this your brother? Your brother got woolly hair. That's woolly hair. Now watch this. Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now tell me this. Is his hair woolly? The guy that they paint in our churches, is that straight, long, stringy hair? Or is that wool hair? It's stringy hair, right? This picture, right? Read on. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes, he has, the whites of his eyes was red because he drunk wine moderately. Let's get that. She's, she, we got to give her the sense. Because I don't want you to think that we're just coming out of our own mouth like he is. We don't just come out of our own mouth. We're going to come out the Bible. Everything I'm going to show you, sis, is out the Bible. Watch this. Genesis Read. chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. That's why it says his eyes was red like fire. Because when you, if you ever drink with someone, the whites of their eyes turn dim red when you drink. All right? Now I'll just go back to Revelations. Just to show you. So, strike, I mean, uh, fact number one is his, he had woolly hair. You follow me, right? And he has red eyes. So far, we're just painting the picture slowly to you. Now, watch this. Read. Revelation 1 and 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. and as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now stop. Hey, sis, if you look at your feet right now, it'll be the same color as your body, right? It might be a little bit lighter because it's not in the sun, but it's still going to be the same color as your body, right? So let's see the color of Christ's feet when John saw his feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass as if too, right? his feet was too, like right? unto fine brass. What Come color on, is brass? Too, right? Come on. Brass. Hey, hey, can, hey can, you, can you pull up brass real quick? Oh, so the image of brass. I just want them to visually see it. Because our people are visual learners. So I want to actually show you how the Bible is really comparing Jesus Christ, the, the, the depiction of Jesus Christ, to real things in the, on the earth. Now watch this. He's going to pull up brass. Because you said brass was white. So I want you to see brass real quick, all right? You're going to read that again. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. So you see oh, that color? What color you, you see? Like a goldish brown, about, right? Derivatives about, of brown, you know, right? Hey, now watch this. That's Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So that same color was burned in a furnace. Now, if you burn anything in a furnace, what color is it? Come here, bro. Come here. I'm showing you the, the, the I'm showing the sister right here the de uh, depiction or description of Christ. So what color, now, if you burn anything in the furnace, one. what color will it, will it turn? If you burn, if you burn toast, Jesus Christ. if you burn don't toast, like what color will it turn? Don't be like these people over here. It'll turn, turn darker, right? Lies. If you burn they rice, what color will it turn? Black! Christ was a dark, black man. And that's what we're out here to teach you right here. Now, watch this. Okay, so he's talking burnt brass. Look at the color of the burnt brass. Show it. What color is that? Black! Read that part again. Read it again. And his feet, like unto fine brass. So brass, brown, read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. Now tell me, sis, have you ever heard that in the Bible before? You never heard this Bible's been on your grandma's uh, 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 table, on your dad's table. And you probably seen the Bible, which is it's like a it's like a mural in houses nowadays. It just sits there. But in this Bible, when you crack it open and read, you're gonna find out that you're an Israelite. Christ is a black man, and he's coming back for the black Hispanics and Native Americans. You understand what I'm saying so far, sis? So now, for the little bit that I told you. Have you ever heard it in your life? Now, if I told you, again, I'm asked the same question.
by hearing that, would you believe in something that you actually can hear out the Bible, or would you believe what a man said and painted him as? Which one would you want to believe? The Bible. And so guess what, sis? I'm going to connect some more with you now. Have you ever heard of 1492? Did you know? Did you? I'm going to give you a fun fact right now. Did you know? Give me five more minutes. Did you know the Hispanics went into slavery before the blacks? Do you know that? In history class, you always hear about what? The blacks going to slavery, right? But I'm going to show you that the Hispanics, bro. Hey, bro, come here. You came up at the right time. All praises. You're about to get some history about the black Hispanics and Native Americans and that this Bible is about us and only us. Now watch this, sis. In 1492, the Hispanics went into slavery before the blacks. I'm going to show you. Go to Deuteronomy. This is how we, this is how we can tell, this is how we can show that the black Hispanics and Native Americans are the people of the Bible. He gave us signs on what to go by to show us who we are. Now watch this. What verse? No, go to um, Deuteronomy 28. We're going to go there first. Set it up. Set it up. 68. Deuteronomy. Watch this, sis. 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, the Lord, now watch this, shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. What is Egypt? What's that word Egypt mean? Because have you heard of Moses when he freed the, freed the Israelites and crossed the Red Sea, split the water? That was Egypt that we were walking out of, captivity, right? He freed the people, right? Now watch this. What does Egypt mean? Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord thy God that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So what did Egypt mean? The house of what? Bondage. Captivity. All right. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy. You see how I'm sticking in the Bible the whole time? I'm not just talking. I'm sticking out the Bible. That's who you got to follow. People that can break the stuff out of the Bible with precepts on top of precepts. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring us, the Israelites, into Egypt, which is what? Bondage, captivity, again with what? With ship. With what? With ship. Do we have the uh, slave trade? We don't have them? So, you know history, right? When they pretty much put the slaves on what? Big ships, right? They took them to the captive land, right? So, did you know that's in the Bible how it explains that the Lord will bring them into Egypt again with ships? Now that you didn't know that in 1492 that your people went into slavery first, I'm going to show you some bait. I'm going to give you some quick tips because I know you got to go. In 1492, what happened? You know, heard about Christopher Columbus? You heard of Christopher Columbus? The Cathedrals, the Spaniards. Did you know you call yourself Hispanic, right? Did you know Hispanic means property of Spain? Okay, so why would your name be called property of Spain? You get what I'm saying? Now watch this. So Hispanics mean property of Spain, and the Spaniards, the Cadizadores, came over with Columbus, and he, he killed and murdered all your people, and then took you back to Spain. I can show you that in the Bible. Watch this. Go to Lamentations. Watch this, sis. Hey, bro, is that the light? Oh, all praises. People coming. Hey, bro, is that the light with the red sweater on? With the red sweater on. Come over here. Watch this, sis. Read. Let me chase. Hey, come here. Chapter 5, verse 2. Watch this, sis. I'm, I'm touching the Hispanics right now. Read. Upper in the heavens. Why you got that camera? Now, tell me this. this is, these are plain facts right here. Plain facts, sis. Who was here first? The white people or the Mexicans? The Mexicans. Common sense, right? So let's they stick with common sense. Read that part again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. When Christopher Columbus, when a white man came over here and took your land from you, what did they do? Did they come here and ask for it, or did they take it from you? They took it. So read that part again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Guess what the Bible called them? When they came over here and took your inheritance from you, the Bible calls them strangers. Now watch this. Read. Our houses to aliens. Wait, 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 wait. Do they call the Mexicans illegal aliens? Have you heard that term? Illegal aliens? 
Watch what the Bible called the white man that took your land from you. Read it again. Our houses to aliens. The white men that took your land are the real aliens. You're not the aliens, sis. You are the chosen people of the Most High God. And that's why I'm showing you how this Bible is your history book. I'm showing you that we can find history in this Bible about you. Read on. We are orphans and fatherless. Because guess what? When they came and conquered all your people, guess what they left? Children lost their family, their fathers, their mothers. They split them up. They killed them. Now they're orphans. They're fatherless now. Read. Our mothers are as widows. Read. We have drunk in our water for money. Guess what? Yeah. Guess what you? The water comes from God out of the sky for free. Right? But guess what? You have to pay for water. If this was your land, if this was your land, and you had water going through your land, do you have to pay for water that's on your land? It's yours, right? But now you got to pay for water. You don't see nothing wrong with that? Now you see how the Bible is connecting. I'm connecting you, your heritage, your people, your history to the Bible. Read that part again. We are orphans and fatherless. Uh -huh. Our mothers are as widows. Right. We have drunken our water for money. So we got to pay. You got to pay for water now when it's free. Read. Our wood is sold. Guess what? Us. All the things that are built by what? Wood. The buildings are built by wood. We use wood for a lot of things, for structures, right? But guess what? Now we have to pay for that wood when the trees and stuff grows on your land. If it's your land and that's your tree, is you, do you have to pay for it? Don't make no sense, right? Our wood is sold unto us. Read. Our necks are under persecution. You are always under persecution, even all the way up to today. The black Hispanics and Native Americans are under persecution today. Guess what? Did you know they don't put on TV that the Mexicans get shot down in the street just as much as the black people do? They don't put that on the TV. Why? Because if they knew, if we knew that we were the same people, we would come together. They try to conquer and divide us. If you conquer and divide us, you can destroy a nation by conquering and dividing. If you divide and conquer, sorry. If you divide something, you can conquer it. You get what I'm saying? But the Bible said that they persecute our necks. Read. Our necks are under persecution. Uh -huh. We labor and have no rest. We labor. Now tell me this. The Mexicans is one of the hardest people on this planet. Tell me this. Y'all labor from sunrise to sunset, and y'all still don't have nothing. To, you still live check to check, right? You still worrying about how you're going to put food on your table, right? You still worrying about your brother stealing your stuff from you, right? This is the things that you work so hard for, but yet you still can't profit from it. Read that part again. Go. Our next are under persecution. Uh -huh. We labor and have no rest. All day, every day. This today is you work over and over and over and over trying to make a living and you still can't make it. You're still struggling. But the people that you're working for, they're living in the high rise. They got the big mansions. They got the land. This right here, sister, I'm connecting to you to show you that this is about us. What other people, what other nation is going through that? No other nation is going through what the Bible is saying right now, right? Now, read on. We have given the head to the, to the Egyptian read. and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Now, watch this. Now, I'm going to show you. Come here, sis. Now, watch this. So, I showed you how the alien is a white man. The white man is what in the Bible? What is the Bible called the white man? The aliens. All right, the aliens, you follow me, right? You ain't no illegal alien. You're a rightful owner of this land because you're an Israelite, sister. We're, we're supposed to rule this whole entire world. But the reason why we didn't rule this whole entire world, the reason why you were conquered is because one thing, Deuteronomy 20 and 15. And this is what we're out here to show our people. To get out of the conditions that we're in today, we have to come back to God's laws. There's no other way. There's no other options. There's nothing. Remember earlier I read in Colossians 2 and 8, if uh, 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 beware of them that uh, spoil you with vain deceit, the people that's going to teach you lies. Remember they taught you a lie that Christ was white, but he's really black. You got to beware of them because what's going to happen? If you don't beware of them, they're going to destroy you. They're going to destroy you mentally. The reason why you say you don't believe in the Bible. Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. I'm going to give you a solution now. 
Read. But it shall come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy now, God. If you don't hearken, meaning listen to God's voice. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments, sis. You are princes of the Most High God. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now tell me, sis, is a curse a good or a bad thing? It's bad. Have you ever been cursed before? It's a, it's a voodoo, that witchcraft. I'm a curse. I'm going to put a curse on that person. It's a bad thing. Now I'm going to show you a curse that our people, our people go through today. I'm going to show you. I'm going to leave, leave, leave with this, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you a curse that our people, the reason why we're in the conditions we're in is because we broke God's laws. This is one of the reasons why we're in the conditions we're in. Read. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, before we read on, don't be offended, all right? I'm going to ask you a simple question. When you watch movies with princesses on it, are they wearing a big, beautiful dress or pants? Big, beautiful dresses, right? When you look at all the princess movies, cartoons to movies, they have big, beautiful dresses on, right? You follow me? So guess what? Read that part again. I'm going to connect, connect what they're doing. It's really what our people are supposed to do, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, a woman is not supposed to wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What does a woman wear that a man puts on? That he's not supposed to put on. He ain't doing a good job at all. You know what I'm saying? But I'll get to know all you guys' things in a little while. Dresses? I'll go on the post and post a post and find out. Now, when you look at you know, rap music videos and all that stuff today, you see men with what? Dresses on. The most I said, a man is not supposed to wear which pertaineth unto a woman. And guess what else? A woman is not supposed to wear which pertaineth unto a man. That's right. What pertains to a man that a woman wear today? Tell me. Trust me. You're gonna have to guys move. You're gonna Pants. Move what you're wearing right now is against God's laws. That's because right. that right there is considered underwears. Leggings is your underwears to your dress. Wanna know why it's important for our sisters to come back to this? Read. For all that for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All that wear what God don't want you to wear is an abomination to God. Read. In Jesus' name, I'll be back. All right, so watch. Why is it important for you to wear a dress? I came back, okay? When you wear tight stuff like that, are you attracting godly men? Are you attracting men with their heads on? Are you attracting dogs? You're attracting dogs. You're attracting men that just want to get in your pants, leave it, hit it, and quit it. I'm pretty sure you only you didn't you, you haven't just had one boyfriend, right? You have multiple boyfriends because they probably broke your heart, right? Exactly. Look, I saw all your facial expressions. The reason why the man won't respect the woman is because the woman won't respect herself. And the reason why we're out here to show you how to respect yourself is to keep God's laws so you can attract men that's gonna respect you. You get what I'm saying, sis? So, this is one of the things that we have to come back to, which is a law, statute, and commandments of Jesus Christ. This is a thing that America, that gave us the same image, said it's okay for sisters to wear pants. Said it's okay for sisters to marry sisters and boys to marry boys. All that's against the Bible. You get what I'm saying, sis? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.